Welcome to Cinema's Underbelly, the channel where we dive into the deepest, darkest trenches of the underground to analyze and review the most obscure, obscene, and controversial films that cinema has to offer. I'm your host, Jonathan Doe, and today we will be reviewing the extremely controversial Vase de Nasus. Vase de Nasus, better known in the West as One Man and His Pig, Wedding Trough, and the Pig Fucking Movie, is a 1974 Belgian avant-garde art exploitation film directed by Thierry Zeno and starring Dominic Garni. The film has gained international controversy for its graphic exploration into the subject of zoophilia and features both real and simulated animal cruelty and coprophagia. Elements of the film, which ultimately resulted in it being banned in many countries around the world. Shot entirely in black and white, the film centers around a man with a mental disorder who lives alone on a farm in rural Belgium. The man exhibits bizarre behavior from the start of the film, fastening doll heads onto pigeons, collecting his feces in glass jars, and beheading animals for entertainment. We discover the man is obsessed with a sow which lives on the farm along with him. The film escalates as the man's relationship with the pig becomes more and more intimate, ultimately leading up to the man engaging in bestiality with the animal, a segment which is graphically shown. The film then takes a bizarre turn as the interspecies fornication results in the sow giving birth to a litter of piglets. The man attempts to father the piglets, but is rejected as the piglets prefer the company of their mother. Jealous, the man kills the entire litter by hanging the piglets from a tree outside. A scene in the film that is unsimulated and actually involved the killing of the piglets. The mother discovers her baby's remains, still hanging from the tree, and begins running frantically around the farm squealing in grief. She then runs into a deep patch of mud and drowns herself. The man discovers the sow dead, and in a fit of rage makes himself an elixir out of his own urine and feces, and then hangs himself. Vase de Nasus never received an official theatrical release, and for decades was not available through home media, leading it to be one of the most obscure movies in existence that was not a lost film. In 2009, German video distributor Camera Obscura released this two-disc DVD set of the film, now long out of print and heavily sought after by collectors. And though I personally feel that this film crossed many ethical lines in the name of art, I applaud Camera Obscura for making this film available, as I am a strong proponent for anti-censorship and believe that the standards of what defines both art and morality to be relative and subjective and that it is ultimately up to the viewer to determine where they stand when it comes to both of these subjects. As always, thank you for watching, and if you liked this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Till next time, this is Cinema's Underbelly.